Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video to all of my star seeds, to all the light workers, to all the beautiful souls here is doing the work on yourself. Today's topic is you are in the biggest transformation of your life and you clicked on this video for a very specific reason. Of course, as you know, being an awakened one, it is not by chance because there is no chance or coincidence, only synchronicity, especially when you are awakened and aligned. So the message for today is embracing this transition. Remember that you asked for big changes in your life. There's been a lot of things that you've been unhappy with for a while, maybe a couple of months, maybe a couple of years, maybe decades. Wherever you're at, remember that you asked for these big changes. You asked for better relationships. You asked for more aligned people to be in your life. You asked for purposeful work that has meaning and satisfaction in which you're not slaving away in a nine to five, doing something that you hate. You asked for all these changes. So this is a reminder and confirmation that you're on the right track. And just to, again, remind you that you asked for these things and to go over some things that you already know. The biggest one being that this is the biggest transformation and transition to your life. This ish is uncomfortable. It is not comfortable. Your life is uprooting. Everything is changing. You are changing everything that you used to know that you used to hold on to the old lifestyle, the old you. It's slowly little by little or rapidly, whoever you are, whatever the case may be for your individual situation, it's all fading away. But again, it's fading away because it has to go away in order for the new things that you asked for to come into your life. So a couple of things I want to go over today with you in order to support you along your transition, things that I'm really telling myself as well, is that remember you asked for it. And as you asked for it, remember why you asked for it. Remember why you asked for the things that you asked for and why all these changes are happening. The next thing to remind you of is that it is uncomfortable as a mother. Like, oh, it is uncomfortable because you are growing. So all the changes, all the challenges that you're facing, as you know, are happening for a reason in order to mold you into the person that you need to be that is living your new life. Because the old version of you that used to think that way, that used to even look that way or act or speak or allow certain things in your life, that person cannot live the new life that you are creating for yourself. And this change has to happen in order for you to become that version of yourself as you align more and more with the vision that you have in your mind, whether it's a new job, again, career, relationships, you might be moving cities, uh, you may have gotten fired, uh, your spouse may have like broken up with you, um, you know, whatever the case may be, there's a lot of quote unquote crappy or challenging things that are happening in your life. Reminding you once again, reiterating over and over, this is for a reason, and you know this, light worker. This is your time. This is your time to arise and create the life that you want. You were fed up for so long and you've asked for these things, but now that you're in it, we can easily forget because we can get, we're forced to really look at our own triggers. And when we get triggered, we tend to get emotional and get out of the clear thinking and brain heart coherence that we had that incited all of these changes in the vision uh, that you want for your life and where you're heading. A couple of things that uh, I would recommend, and you know this, do the things that got you here. Was it meditation? Was it journaling? Was it working out? Are you seeing a therapist? Do you have a close-knit group of friends or uh, people that you can trust and talk to about these things? For me specifically, what I would recommend for you is to do some physical exercise because when we get triggered into our emotions, we get on this train of thought, as it's called, and it can put us into our old patterns where we disconnect from our body. So when we work out, whether it's getting in the gym or going for a run or doing yoga, whatever the case is for you, whatever you prefer, those practices are going to get you into your body. They're going to ground you. Go out in nature. Put your toes in the sand or in the dirt or in the grass. Feel Mother Earth on the ground. Get back in your body, breathe, just breathe, slow down. Remember that you are heading in the right direction and the more uncomfortable it is, the bigger the changes that are happening into your life, the more challenging things get, the closer you are to having these breakthroughs. 
look for the synchronicities. Again, this video probably being one. You, you know, I just started making content again and you're on YouTube or you're like, man, I'm really down or maybe you just wanted to watch some whatever that has nothing to do with this and I magically appear on your feed. No coincidence. You're in alignment. You're in synchronicities. These things are happening and it's all guiding you as confirmation that you're on the right path for the major changes that you asked for in your life. So what else can we do to support ourselves during this transition when it's so uncomfortable? Practices, as I said, work out, you know, going to run, meditate for me, journaling, uh, being out in mother nature, uh, connecting with yourself and your thoughts, reminding yourself of your vision. The other thing that I think is really important at this time that can actually speed you up through this period of discomfort is to take some time to reflect on the challenges address the fears and the doubts that are coming up because these are the things that you have to work past and heal in order to get to that next level they cannot come with you so the deeper the truth that you look into yourself in these situations the easier and probably the quicker that these transitions are going to happen but you have to learn the lessons first in order to level up that's what this is about you are leveling up big time big time biggest levels of your life you're just jumping up step by step over and over you are really creating the life of your dreams this stuff is not for the weak it's not for the faint of heart uh, but you know how it goes once you're awakened and you see these things you can no longer tolerate the people places and things the activities the behaviors the words the content that you used to you're vibrating at a different level now maybe your diet's changing all these things are happening for a reason the next thing I'll bring up as a reminder and a practice is this is surrender. This is the walking in trust, trusting the universe. This is walking in faith, having faith that things will work out. Surrender to what is. So let's say, for example, you got laid off. You got laid off out of nowhere and you were doing a great job and your company just happened to give you the boot. Even though you've been with this company for X amount of years, you've always done a good job. But maybe your situation is you've been dealing with a toxic work environment, pain in the ass, coworkers, and a terrible boss, slaving away, feeling exhausted every day, hating what you do. So you've been praying for something and someone somehow to come along and find work that's meaningful, that's purposeful, that's aligned with who you are, things that you enjoy, that you'll actually make more money doing. So you may see it as, oh my God, I got laid off. And again, it throws you into a trigger. It's chaotic, it's painful, it hurts, but you asked for these changes. So instead of resisting, yes, grieve, process the emotions, feel however you need to feel. But remember, this is the trust, the surrender part of it. Surrender, okay, I got laid off. Reminder, here I am, you asked for this. It doesn't always look how we want it to look, but this is walking in faith. This is you creating an entirely new reality for yourself. So embrace it, ground into the practices, get back in your body, reflect and learn the lessons. One of the quotes that I have uh, for today for you, let me check my notes here. I always like to write out notes, you know, I'm starting to get back into the flow myself of making content, of making videos, and I used to just wrap and go but I really wanna make sure that I'm delivering the message in a way that's bringing you support and value and giving you whatever you need uh, for whatever the daily message is. So remember why you asked for this, embrace the changes, go back into your daily practices, working out, meditating, writing, whatever it is for you. That's one thing we also gotta talk about, the timing of all this. You know as much as you hate to hear it, or sometimes I do, You've got to be patient and trust in the divine timing. You know all this stuff. You've got to be patient. For me, that's my hardest thing. But the thing I always think about is, you know, the farmer planting the seed. You can't sit there and force the freaking plant to grow. You can't go out and water it every day and sit there and watch it and hope it grows and then water it and go, God, why aren't you speeding up? There is a natural timing and organization to things you know, we are in the 3D or the 5D consciousness, most likely if you're watching this, 
but we're still in a physical manifested world. And the 3D needs time to catch up energetically to what we have manifested energetically and in our mind. Everything is happening behind the scenes. You know that your guides, you know that your angels, everything is working out and it's all according to divine plan. So for me, the hardest thing is patience, but this is your reminder that there is a timing to these things. We've got to be patient. So what do we do in the meantime while the plant is doing its thing and growing in the ground? Reflect, learn, doing the work. Are you getting uh, everything in order that you need to get in order for your business? Are you healing whatever you need to heal from the past to allow a new love come, to come into your life? This is doing the work as light workers. This is following our divine path. This is creating space and healing for the manifestations to develop in a beautiful and probably unexpected way. And the quote I'll leave you with today, uh, it's from our buddy Deepak Chopra. And the quote is, all great changes are preceded by chaos. So everything that happens, you know, even from the beginning of civilization, think about like the Big Bang Theory, right? Think about how much chaos must have been going on the planet when the earth got impacted by these meteoric asteroids and the ETs were like, we need to reset planet Earth. Let's get these dinosaurs off the planet. That must have been pure chaos for so long, the Ice Age. But look at what has grown out of that, right? A whole new level of being and planetary shift and alignment, which of course, as you know, is what's happening right now as we move closer to the Milky Way and we shift from the 3D to the 5D. Here we are. So there's a divine timing. Be patient. Embrace the chaos. Embrace the discomfort. The way that we do that are the practices, reflecting, learning the lessons we need to learn, and doing the work. Are you wanting to start your own channel? Okay, are you making content yet? Gotta make that content. You want a new body? Okay, are you starting to make changes in your diet? Have you signed up for a gym? Have you hired a personal trainer? Have you looked up workout programs? Maybe you've just signed up on an app. Whatever it is, this is what we do. Because I used to be number one, and this is a topic for another video, like sitting here meditating all day in a room with incense thinking that things were just going to happen. Yes and no. That's how we get into alignment and we visualize. But since we still are in a 3D world with a 5D consciousness, the final step of your manifestation is doing the action. You have to do the physical action because it's a physical world. This is how we bring our manifestations into existence. Last thing I'm gonna do for today, which I really like doing, and I'm kind of bummed I don't have all of my decks, but again, be patient for me, all in due time when I'm all settled in and my spot and I've got all my stuff out, we're gonna pull a card. I wish I had my other decks, but it's pretty much gonna be the same one. I'll show you the same one we had yesterday. It's the Archangel Power Tarot card. I uh, really like this one. This is one that's been super comfortable for me. Three taps to clear the energy. We asked to receive the purest and most divine truth in the highest good of each individual watching this and the highest good of all. <sighs> Breathe deep and connect. Woo, nice little crack in the neck there. This is the one that wants to pop out first. <laughs> so this may be relevant to your situation. We pulled the two of Ariel. This is what we pulled today. Look at the picture first before I read the message. I always recommend that people look at the picture first and use your own intuition as to what this is bringing up within you. What does this image, what catches your eye? What catches your eye, what sticks out to you, and what kind of thoughts, feelings, emotions, situations come up as you look at this picture, okay? To me, uh, I mean, this guy is making it happen. That is not a, an easy position. I mean, he's upside down, balancing an infinity sign and a yin and yang, but look how high he is and look who he's being watched over by, the beautiful Archangel Ariel. So the message is it's important to have balance, which he is definitely doing. Working multiple jobs or progress projects at once, making work fun. So going back to my example earlier, maybe you got fired from your job or maybe you just can't stand your job and what you really wanna do is create a soul aligned purposeful business but you can't because you've got responsibilities. You can't up and quit and become a full-time artist or musician. Okay, working multiple projects at once. You do these things at the same time. It doesn't have to be intense. It doesn't have to be all at once. Just do it little by little. Uh, I'll read you the expanded two of Ariel message. As this is our card for today, it says, it's important to have balance. You may be working multiple jobs 
or you may have several projects going on at once. Reconsider your to-do list. Is it really necessary to accomplish it all? The key to managing stress is to think of ways to make your situation more fun. Look at life in a playful way. This is a game. This is a simulation. You know that. You may be having challenges balancing your budget. Be cautious of juggling your finances in a way that causes long-term difficulties. Career changes should be looked at carefully and decisions made slowly and logically. The additional meanings of the card, going with the flow, making it look easy, the ability to get by on little money. So what comes up for me is this is a big transition in your life professionally for some of you who are watching this. And it's asking you to not rush the process of identifying your vision. Carefully consider your career changes because even though you're super unhappy in your current position, of course, you're like, oh man, I got to get out of here. I hate this job. I'm going to do it right away. You may be setting yourself up for a very difficult situation when it can be a more easy transition. So be patient with the process. This has been the biggest theme in my life over the past couple of months. Chances are it is with you as well because you're resonating with this video and that's why you're watching it. Be patient and practical and grounded that even though you're an incredibly uh, elevated spiritual individual that has a very high energy and you have a strong relationship with your guides, with your angels, with God, all that is, remember that we're still here and being a light worker is just that. We still have to do the work in the 3D reality. We are here to light up the world and that entails being in the darkness. That is the work. So be patient and practical while the 3D can catch up with your 5D consciousness. That's all I got for you today, guys. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe because I will be getting more in the flow of putting all these videos out. Uh, if you watch this and somebody popped into your mind, please share it with them. Chances are, again, no coincidence, they need to hear this message as well. So peace, love, and light to you and yours, and I will see you very soon for another video. Love you guys. Peace.